Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or should I say hello strangers, because <laughs> it has been so long since I sat down here and filmed, it feels so good to be back and finally in my normal filming routine. Um, so thank you so much for being patient with me. Different background, I'll get to that in the video, I have just been all over the place the past couple of weeks but we are back with another Disney villain video but because I kind of thought because I was away for so long I was like do you know what I'm going to do my most requested Disney villain look so obviously today we are doing Ursula from The Little Mermaid so that is what I've done today so if you want to know how I got this look then just keep on watching Hi. <laughs> For today's Disney villain, we are doing Ursula. So Ursula is the Disney villain from My Little Mermaid. So this is her character here. If I just zoom in a wee bit, just so you can see a wee bit more of the colours and the detail and stuff. I see like the main colours that I'm going to be using in, in today would be probably purple, black, and blue. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's like an outline here of like a royal blue, and obviously like there's purple here, there's black, there's like a light purple. Her eyeshadow, like her eyes, that's like a really vibrant turquoise. So I think I might add a wee pop of turquoise somewhere. Um, I think that would look really, really cool. And then obviously she has red lips, so I think I might do red lips because I think in every previous one that I've done. Um, apart from the very first one which was The Lion King I have done just plain nude lips just so the focus is more on the eyes but I think we'll go for red lips in this one I am so nervous like I am so so nervous to do this one I have no clue what I'm doing <laughs> as you guys probably already know what I'm going to do now so I'm just going to go off camera and do this eye <laughs> just to kind of gather up my thoughts and ideas and kind of put them together and actually see what I'm going to do and come up with and then I will come back on camera and I will do this eye with you guys okay so this is what we have so far obviously I'm not finished <laughs> I'd like to think so so I'm just going to go into the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival palette the first shade I went into is Wasted and the brush that I'm using to apply this shadow is the 228 Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush I'm sorry if my lighting seems very off in this video I really think that I'm just very I'm just very washed out looking I don't know like I have changed my room around obviously it just isn't working with my filming setup <laughs> because like every time I change my room right now I kind of have to always have in the back of my mind is this going to be suitable for me filming where am I going to set up my film and stuff and like this is like my window here and so I'm usually facing my lens my lind my lindo <laughs> my window light whereas now I'm not so I don't know I just kind of find that there's like a shadow but I don't know, like I've turned my exposure up and that's probably what's washing me out severely. Woo! Um, just going to clean off this brush. I'm actually just going to kind of buff and just diffuse those edges a wee bit. Not blending them too much, but just kind of blowing them out a wee bit. I'm going to grab this shade here. Yeah, it's the right shade. <laughs> so I'm going to grab this shade here and this in the shade Sky. I'm just going to take this just on a slightly smaller blending brush. I'm going to be placing this shadow just 50 50. So I'm going to be half on the purple shadow and half on the upper part of my crease where I haven't applied any shadow. And I'm just going to start off in the center and I'm just going to pat it on first just to kind of place it down and then just start blending out. One thing I always struggle with is blending out colour and I don't know why, I think it's so common for like people to struggle blending out coloured eyeshadows. Like it does take time and a lot of patience and your brushes are definitely your tools slash your magic wands. Like good brushes will do the work for you but you obviously just need to have a wee technique as well. Like that's why I love doing these series is because it's forcing me to kind of like experiment with makeup, experiment with colour and just random stuff. <laughs> For me in my opinion, like on YouTube, I would say Holly Boone is probably the best at blending out coloured eyeshadows. Like it's just absolutely amazing, it's literally just like a work of art. So I'm now cleaning off this brush by the way and I'm just going to blend out those edges. And then I'm just going to go into that purple shade again. And I'm just going to focus that just up in this inner corner. I'm just doing this to just kind of create a wee bit of dimension. Does anybody even know what that means when it comes to makeup? Because I don't. I just say it to make myself sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 
whatever it's like realistically I'm literally just putting makeup on my face and hoping for the best <laughs> like us all <laughs> So I've turned the exposure on my camera down a bit because I just thought it was really washing me out. So for this look I actually just done a half cut crease. Um, so for that I used the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Fair by the way. And then to create my cut crease I took the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Concealer Brush. I usually use the Spectrum A18 brush because as you can tell these brush tips are around it and it just helps you within the process, it just helps you create the shape. Um, but I think for this look the Spectrum one was a wee bit too thick whereas the Makeup Addiction one is quite thin and skinny so you can get a very precise. This is actually the brush that I use to carve up my eyebrows as well. So I don't like to cut my brush too much whenever I'm creating a cut crease. I kind of like to just pat the product into the brush just so that my brush has just got a wee bit of product but it's more tacky with product than like wet with product. What I first off like to do whenever I'm starting off a half cut crease is I like to start in the centre and then work my way forwards. Next I'm just going to go with a pigment from Hidden Cosmetics and this is in the shade Drag Me to Narnia. So these pigments are incredible. If you have this brand on Instagram you would already have seen these. These are these are amazing. Like, these are absolutely amazing. These are basically magic multi-chrome pigments. And I hope to god you can see that. Like you can see the way it's more turquoise. It's kind of more like a like a teal blue. But then like it just goes purple and that's it there. Like it's isn't that amazing? Like it's just absolutely incredible. Okay, so next up I'm just going to do a wing and I'm just gonna use the Um, so this is the Wet n Wild Mega Liquid Liner. Okay, so I'm just gonna <laughs> obviously do a very big wing. <laughs> Might seem easy way maybe because I don't have any foundation on and my skin at the minute is shit. <laughs> So next I'm just going to create this wee liner here. So I used the W7 Neon Lights Eyeliner and this is in the shade 3. I'm just going to go over halfway, kind of like three quarters over. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the NYX Vivid Brights liquid liner. And this is in the shade Vivid Blossom and I'm just going to create a ombre look. Okay, so I do have a few ideas in my head that I'm wanting to do. But I can't actually do that until I do my base makeup. So I'm actually going to go off camera now and do my base makeup as per usual. <laughs> and then I will come back on camera and then I will fix up the rest of my eyes. As you can see I've kind of finished this eye and I've made quite a few changes to it <laughs> so we will continue on this eye but I'm first just going to do my lips and get that out of the way. So I'm going to be using the Endless Silky Eye Pen by Pixie. This is just a wee cool eyeliner and I'm actually going to use this to line my lips. I'm going to do like a wee bit of an ombre lip as well so I'm going to use the Kylie Jenner matte lipstick and this is the purple one so this is in the shade Junebug. So as you can see I went over this liner here and I just used the collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Glitter Gel so it's just the like the turquoise one. And then I just went over this liner here just to the very tip with another NYX Vivid Bright Liquid Liner. I'm just going to take a Peaches and Cream Pigment Eyeshadow in the shade Disco. Whoa. 
I'm definitely not feeling this lip colour. I think I'm gonna take it off and do something else. I might do like a nude or something. I don't know. I just I hate dark colours on my lips. It just does absolutely nothing for me and this always happens. <laughs> Sexy! Okay, so next I'm just going to take one of the shadow shields, just the original ones. And I know in my last um, Disney villain series I done this exact same step and I do apologise for that. But I just kind of think that it kind of needed something, you know, a bit of something, something. Um, but I just kind of want it to be more extra. <laughs> so that is why I have went with the Blender Lower Lash Line with a sharp wing. First off, I'm going to take the purple shade Waste It from the Be Perfect Cosmetics palette and I'm just going to run that just along my lower lash line, bringing it right into the inner corner as well. So then I'm going to take a wee precision blender brush and this is from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and I'm just going to dip into that blue shade Sky that we use on our crease and I'm just going to go 50-50 on my lower lash line. Next I'm going to take another NYX Vivid Bright liner and this is the Blossom one I think. Yes, so a Vivid Blossom. I forgot to press record so I don't actually know where I left off but as you can see I have a beauty mark on my face because I did go back into my phone and bring up the picture just to see if I could incorporate anything else into my makeup look in regards to the colours and stuff so I did see that she has like something on her face so I done something on my face but I have these wee pearls that I'm thinking of sticking to my face Oh my goodness, what night was it? I think it was last Wednesday night, it was Halloween night or something, and I was in Kyle's house, I was in my boyfriend's house, and we were actually going around to like his friend's house that night. So he was like, right, I'll get a shower before we go around. So I was like, right, that's okay, no problem. So I was sitting in his room, and I was watching Jeffree Star's new video where he was revealing his new holiday collection such as like the Alien palette and all his new liquid lipstick shades and stuff. It's so funny because like, like Kyle is so intrigued by Jeffree Star. That was grand. He was obviously in his towel and he was like, obviously he heard that I was watching Jeffree Star so he was like, oh, are you watching Jeffree Star? He continued to like dry himself and whatever and get changed or whatnot. Um, and then he was in his pants. <laughs> well, well, underwear, boxers, whatever, but I call them pants. And he just plunked down beside me in his pants watching Jeffree Star. And like, I don't know why, like it wasn't funny. Like it isn't a funny story, but I find it hilarious. The fact that he was just like, he just plunked himself down beside me, naked in his pants and sitting watching one of Jeffree Star's makeup videos. I just find it hilarious. <laughs> okay, so I've just kind of stuck two on the outside and one in the inner corner, as you can see. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this one anyway, and let me know in the comment section below, as you always do, what you thought of this one. But honestly, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one.